inside half an hour ago. God, it is freezing out here. Yeah, I should be home working on my cartoons <laughs> instead of standing around here like a moron. I'm leaving. French, you lazy moron! Get back to work! Go, go, go! We can't get to work until you let us in, sir. No more excuses. Stop ruining my business! And smile, damn you! Did you see the new weekly freebie? God, the cartoons are even lamer than usual. <laughs> Lame is too kind. They're like watered-down Dilbert for born-again preschoolers. Um, sir, excuse me, I think I need some help. Nah, you're doing great. I can't believe those cretins are getting published while I'm working myself to death at this lousy job. Hey, you want to take off early? Bitchin'. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I must say, these are terrific. Thanks. I'm submitting those to Playboy, and these to Esquire, these to The New Yorker, and these to Cat Fancier. That's my backup. Andy, may I see your cartoons too? No. Kevin, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but you have sense of humor cancer. That's not fair. I love humor. All kinds. Everything from Wizard of Id to BC. Oh, come on. Why can't he see your cartoons? <sighs> Fine. Gwen, watch this. <laughs> okay. Why is that funny? Uh, because she's touching the meat? No. It is a satire of people who say Kafkaesque when a situation is not Kafkaesque. Well, it would be funnier if the caption said, Please, no meat touching, ma'am. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Mm. So you really think I'm talented, huh? My jaw hurts. Could I stop praising you for a little while? Jim, would you mind feeding Stogie? There's no more dog food. Then let's go buy some. I mean, he's eating the couch, for God's sake. Hey, I think I just found some in here. False alarm. It's getting late. Am I gonna crash here or what? Please, crash. Okay. But just so we're clear, you want your freedom to sleep around because you're not ready for something serious, right? Yes, exactly. Where are you going? Oh, I'm looking for something serious. Uh, hey, no fair! You tricked me! Finally. Turn off the alarm and get to work! But we don't have the code! Because if you did, you'd rob me blind! Now, go, go, go! Work, work, work! <laughs> Why must I do everything myself? I need an assistant. Line up! Let's see. Woman, freak, woman, vermin, woman. Where is Moran? Hey, what's going on? You! You are my new assistant! Ron, I don't have time to be your assistant. Besides, I hate your guts. Ha! You remind me of son I never had. Well, uh, I have a son, but I never see him. He's mental or something. Come! <laughs> <laughs> Women, vermin, and freak, get back to work! Right. Moron, we go someplace quiet where we can talk. Ron, I just don't see your store in my future. 
the second I start getting paid for my cartoons, I'm gone. And remember, I do hate your guts. Come on. I double your salary. Believe it or not, Ron, not everybody's life revolves around money. Some of us have dreams. Okay, not just money. Sex too. See, I buy you lap dance. This seal our deal. Yo! My name is Shelly. Oh. Uh, uh. uh, look, Ron, I, mm. um, I, I will not sell my soul yeah. for, uh, oh. <laughs> That's very nice. A, a, a promotion or, or, or money or strippers or, well, okay, maybe strippers, but nothing else in your twisted, sleazy world. So, <laughs> that tickles. So, you, you just forget it. My name is Shelly. Huh. You like, huh? Yes. Yes, I do, but the answer is still no. Thanks anyway, but I'm leaving. <clears throat> in a minute. Ah, nerds. Yo, Andy, que pasa? Es mucho suco, hombre. A bunch of magazines just rejected my cartoons. You're lucky. I just came from a gallery. Hey, they love my stuff. Great, but how does that make me lucky? Oh, um, I meant I'm lucky. Sorry. Hmm. <sighs> Andy, you got a package from the New Yorker. Congratulations. Hey. Oh, man. They've rejected all my cartoons, and they ruined them with their big red stamp. If it makes you feel better, I don't think the New Yorker publishes a lot of cartoons. <sighs> that was my best stuff, too. Stogie, no. Why can't you just eat your own puke like every other dog? <laughs> with excitement, Cat Fancier Magazine is on the phone. Huh? Hello, this is Andy French. Hi, Andy. This is Marie from Cat Fancier, and I just want to thank you for your cartoon submission. Oh, so you're going to buy it? Oh, well, no. But because you're a special cat lover, we're prepared to offer you a subscription at our low introductory rate of... <sighs> I can't take it anymore. <sighs> Phew, thank God. I wasn't looking forward to explaining that to Mom. Look at those regular people, their regular jobs. They've given up on their dreams, and they seem happy. You can't give up, Andy. Your cartoons are great. You really think so? It's just your captions that need work. Maybe if you change that caption to read, please, no meat touching, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win, Ron. I win! I win! I win! I win! What I win? The battle for my soul. I'm your new assistant. <sighs> <laughs> I warn you, it's not an easy job. You must have training. You must have discipline. Okay, I'm ready to learn. Uh, that's enough for today. Let's party. First role of management, you must look like a manager. <laughs> Sexy, huh? Eh? You like, no? I think you just answered your own question. <laughs> Hi, are you looking for Andy? I am Andy. Oh, I was wondering how he got the keys to the apartment. What is wrong with you? You don't know who I am, but you think I'm looking for me? I was trying to do Andy a favor and take a message. I'm sorry! <sighs> Holy Krypton! You're wearing a suit! Hey, cartoonists can't afford suits. What did you do? I took the assistant manager job. But I'm still me. Just me with a higher salary. You're giving up cartooning, are you? No, maybe. I don't know. Oh, come on. What you need is inspiration. Here, I'll do something funny and you draw a cartoon of it. 
Let me know when you're done. <laughs>